in today's video we are going to create an amazing poster design in photoshop grab your mom's as we dive in first things first we are going to create a new document choose a solid color copy this as code create a new layer grab a soft arm brush right click and set hardness to normal hardness should be normal Opacity is set to 100 and we are going to copy this hair code. Set foreground to this hair code. And click once. Create a new layer. With a soft arm brush, we are going to set foreground to this hair code. And we are going to click once. We are going to set layer blend mode to linear dodge and reduce the opacity. Now create a new layer. With a soft arm brush, foreground is set to white. And we are going to click once and set blend mode to soft light. Let's grab our asset for this tutorial. Holding down the shift key, we are going to copy all these layers, Control C to copy, Control V to paste. With this layer selected, Control A, we click right here, we are going to center that vertically. With this layer selected, we are going to position this layer right here. Take it all the way to the top. You position this right here. With the layer selected, we are going to right click and convert that into a smart object. Control T to transform. We right click and we are going to warp this a bit. We adjust this and position it right here. With this layer selected, Ctrl J to make a copy. With the layer selected, Ctrl J to make an extra copy. Position it right here. We transform that and rotate it a bit.
with this layer selected we are going to reduce the opacity create a match to the mark selected grab the pen tool or any selection tool and we are just going to create a selection set foreground to black and we are going to press alt backspace to fill that with the foreground color black and we can take opacity back to 100 With the layer selected, we are going to create a curves adjustment layer clipped onto the layer so the effect applies only to the layer. Create an exposure adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. With the mask selected, Ctrl I to invert. With a soft hand brush, we are going to reduce opacity. Foreground is set to white. And we are going to paint some shadows. We are going to paint another exposure adjustment layer. Clipped onto the layer with the mask selected. Control I to invert. With the soft hand brush, foreground set to white. We are going to paint some shadows. With this layer selected, we are going to create an exposure adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. With the mask selected, Ctrl I to invert. With the soft hand brush, foreground is set to white, and we are going to paint some shadows. It's basically the same technique. You create an exposure adjustment layer. With the mask selected, you are going to invert the mask by pressing Ctrl I. With the soft hand brush, foreground is set to white. You paint shadows or highlights.
with this layer selected, we go for filter and we are going to apply Gaussian blur. We are going to create an exposure adjustment layer. Invert the mask by pressing Ctrl I. With a soft hand brush, foreground is set white, and we are going to paint some back. Once we have everything in place, we are going to press Ctrl Alt Shift E to merge all layers. Right click and convert the layer into a smart object and we'll go for camera roll. So folder, camera roll, folder. All we are going to do is we are going to play with the camera roll settings until we like the outcome. Once that is looking good, then we hit OK. Thank you so much for watching guys. I do hope to see you in the next one. Till next time, stay creative.